This is a snapping shrimp. It's also called a pistol shrimp. It doesn't like those big metal forceps in its tank, so it's about to use its giant claw to produce one of the most devastating animal attacks on Earth, a bubble. Did you catch it? It happens fast. So here's another shrimp and a second attack filmed in the same way. To see the bubble, I had to capture these sequences by filming at 10,863 frames per second. Going frame by frame, the bubble is the silvery part that emerges from the tip of the claw. It appears for just six frames, or about half a millisecond, before it collapses in on itself and disappears. It's produced when the claw snaps shut, sending out a rapid jet of water. That water is moving so fast, the pressure within the jet drops below the vapor pressure of water, allowing tiny bubbles to expand into what's known as a cavitation bubble. When that bubble collapses on itself, a lot of things happen. It produces an audible snap, it instantaneously produces temperatures similar to the surface of the sun, and it even makes light, a phenomenon that researchers gave the fun name shrimpoluminescence. But snapping shrimp aren't the only ultra-fast shrimp in the sea. This is an adult mantis shrimp about to throw a punch. When they connect, the results can be devastating. They don't use their appendages to produce a jet of water and a cavitation bubble, but when their punching claws collide with something, the water gets pushed out of the way so quickly that small cavitation bubbles still actually form. If you watch closely, when this one hits the forceps, the silver flashes are the resulting cavitation bubbles forming and then collapsing. Mantis shrimp are their own order of crustaceans, unlike the snapping shrimp that are closely related to other true shrimp species. But both these animals are doing similar, incredibly fast things underwater. Believe it or not, nearly all the footage in this video I shot from making the last one, but most of it didn't make the cut. But I thought it was interesting enough to share in its own right, so I made this. If you want to hear more about mantis shrimp research, you should go check out the last video I put on this channel. But thanks for being here, watching this one, and subscribing to this channel.